Well, listen, we are in the kitchen because we all know we eat with our eyes. And first, there are so many things that come together to create delicious food photography. Now, food styling is the art of making any food item or image look so much more desirable. So this morning, we are bringing in our very own experts. We have Nicole Snelling from the Espresso Morning Show's food team, as well as Bass Newman, who is a chef as well as food stylist himself. They are here to show us how they create beautiful photos. And I'm so excited to, because I mean, when you look at the food on Espresso, it's always so well presented. And Nicole, you play a big role in doing that every single day. So how do we start off? with clearly we need some tools right yeah we okay. do so we always have tools that are permanently <coughs> on set my number one is always my right hand is a spritzer bottle so for example where these grapes we had on display today but they've they've they look, dried up they've dried up so, so they look normal but the minute you add a little bit of water they look yeah. fresh they look succulent and look at the difference Bring them that to life. Makes. so yeah this definitely helps to make things look cold crisp fresh we do this on herbs on any like um, salads and fruits, it just makes it shine a little bit better. Oh, I love that. Now, when you present a chicken dish, of course, at home, this is what it looks like, but you want it to pop on camera. So what can we add to, to that to bring it a bit more to life? So we made this this morning, so it's obviously cooled down. So what we do to make things look warm and um, obviously it's got a bit of fat, so it solidifies. So you just take a little bit of oil and you brush it, so it gives it a whole new life. So this is a little tricks that we do, because we don't always have time to do things fresh, and obviously we do, but um, sometimes you just need to give it an extra gloss, you know, just that beautiful that. style to it. And one thing we also always keep on hand is paper towel. Yes. Because say you want to absorb something, but you don't want to dis disrupt it too much, you would take a paper towel, soak it up, and you don't mess with the dish. And then, one and we've got the microwave <laughs> singing in the background for quite some time now. <laughs> so this is also one of my favorite tricks is we take like a cotton bud and we heat it up. So this is now cold and you take your cotton bud and you see it's steaming. Yes. And you can literally place it behind ah. your dish. <laughs> I know, it's so So cool. if you're going to photograph and get a close-up of it, you don't see the cotton wool, but you see the steam. You see, it's steaming. It's steaming yes. hot. We've brushed it and it looks good. And Bass is going to show us how to plate. He's got lots oh, of tips. This is amazing. Is it true that they use shaving cream instead of ice cream when they do certain shoots or uh, is that? It depends on the shoot. We try to keep everything edible, edible because, you know, in the end of the day, food wastage is a very big thing and we don't want anything that people can't eat in the end of the day. I hear that. I love that. What a cool trick. Bass, when it comes to plating, of course, that also can make or break a dish. 100%. So going back to also what Nicole said over there, that is what you'll do on a shoot, a video shoot, commercial, whatever, or even just for the show. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to show you is, Zoe, you're about to get married, right? <laughs> Sometimes. Just engaged. Right? Just, just wrap my but, mind I, but, that. but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're going to have guests over, you're going to host dinner parties and that, so you can take basics of food styling to just elevate your entertaining game. And I just renovated well. so I've got extra tiles. <laughs> perfect, perfect <laughs> as well. So what we're going to do is, I use some stuff. We're celebrating grapes today on the show in the culinary art line. So what I've got over here is a young fitter. What is it? It's a whipped feta. Whipped, whipped feta. feta. And the way to whip your feta is just a little bit of water that you add to a, a yeah. neutral bullet and you just blitz it up. Blitz it up. So basic tips for styling that I always believe in is the following. So firstly, keep it as natural as possible, right? What you want to do is whatever you're going to garnish with, make sure that it's edible because you don't want someone to come there and be eating a, trying to eat a cinnamon stick and like embarrassing themselves at your dinner table, right? Yeah. Number two, always make sure that the focus is the food. Okay. So don't over prop. So I've got some cloths and spoons and things over here, but don't over prop, right? So let's just get straight into it. So we've got our whip feta. What I'm going to do with this is just... Are you going to do the splash yes. or are you going to do the push? Both. So we're going to put that down there. Just a little bit. That's fine. And you said it doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Part there the we go. Part of the rustic look, yeah. And we've got a nice bunch of grapes over here. I am missing something, but it's all good. What are you missing? Say it so, out loud. It might magically you know appear. Do you know what I mean? My balsamic drizzle. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's, it's okay. all good. So basically what we did was we just burst these in a pan very, very quickly with some balsamic. So what you can do is then cook down that balsamic and, and drizzle it. it over here. Fantastic. What I'm going to ask you to do for me is get some micro herbs. Oh, Nicole will hop onto you if you don't oh, mind yes, grabbing sure. some micro herbs And then for I've us. got some crisps over here that we also used from a previous segment. So we're just going to place that down. And you want texture on your plate. Texture. 
And what this could happen or become is your guests arrive, a little canapé. Easy, mm. but they serve themselves. It's something for them to do. And it's interactive, as well. which is incredible. But last thing, if it wasn't on Instagram, if you didn't take a photo, did it even happen? So didn't even happen. Here's your, oh, your just very quickly. freshly requested micro herbs. You just add that, that up. Egg, very, very quickly. Look at that. See? Anyone can do this. You guys make it look so easy. With your phone, quickly. So we've got it on over there as well. What you always want to try and keep, I'm going to go this way. What you want to try and keep in focus is the food. So obviously I'm just doing this very quickly, so not focusing exactly on what's mm -hmm. happening. But you want to keep your food in focus. And when you focus on, when you focus your camera, focus on what people need to look at. Ah, so they need to look at the grapes. Yeah. 100 Which is our key feature for today. So we've got our food oh, for dinner party. We need some entertainment. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Nicole Bass, thank you for showing us how you can really up your style fooding. Your fooding, your food styling. There we go. That makes more sense. Styling your food. Styling your food. There we go. And if you want to unlock that inner foodie within you and you need those tips and tricks, Oh, man, we all want to snap photos and put it on Instagram. And we really just want to take the gram to that next level. Now, remember to catch the next episode of Unlock Your 100% on SABC2 tonight at 7.30 p.m. Raul will be going on a journey to help Zarina Gaby unlock her 100% with Crush as we also see her realize her dreams of becoming a food stylist. So that's something you do not want to miss out on.